If you think you're funny, God is funnier. He's so funny, I can't even. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, my name is Shanice and if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. Today, as you can see, I'm doing an autumn winter chocolate brownie type of look. You can see the headband, the shirt, everything's coming together. Autumn winter slash brownie makeup. If you know, you know. <laughs> Even the blush, this orange, is what you need to be wearing this winter. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you click like down below. If you have a bit more time, leave some love down below, like comment down below, anything, anything, because I love replying back to you guys. I'm not gonna hold you for too long. If you want to know how I achieve this makeup look, keep watching and I'll see you in the next video. I've prepped my face, I've done my skincare, and as you can see, I've done my eyebrows as well, because if I did this on camera, it would actually take two hours i'm going to use like two primers this milk hydro grip primer and i'm going to put on this one size secure the blur primer as well so i don't like to put on my primer with my hands anymore because setting up and getting everything ready i'm touching a lot of things and then i need to go wash my hands and then come back i'm sorry i'm a little bit too lazy for that so i'm gonna put the product on my face and then move it around with my brush I'm really going to focus on the areas that will have the most amount of product on so that's like the center of my face I'm looking over here because this is where my mirror is now the one size I'm secure the secure the blur okay that's my primers done I'm gonna wait for like a few minutes for everything to dry and then I'm going to put more products on. First and foremost, I'm going to colour correct my darker areas. I'm looking at my face right now and under my eye is actually not that dark anymore. So I'm going to focus on around my mouth. But I am going to put a tiny bit under my eye just for the plain canvas type of look. I'm just going to put a dot here. I'm going to mix two different types of foundations. I'm going to wear the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation in the shade Zambi and I'm going to wear the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop foundation in the shade 23. I like to tap instead of swiping. I'm a foundation on the forehead advocate. <laughs> There's no way I'm not putting foundation on my forehead. I understand if you have like a lace front you don't want to cover it with like foundation or any product but just be careful. Me right now I would cover this little bit with foundation but I don't think it will blend it out dark enough and put in the foundations between my eyebrows because I know there's a halo situation going on. Don't worry about the eyebrows, the concealer will fix that. For concealer, I'm going to use, I think, two different concealers. I'm going to use the Too Faced Toffee Concealer and I'm going to pair that with the Elf Camo Concealer in the shade Tan Neutral. I'm going to put the Elf in the inner corners of my under eye but the elf does dry really quickly. I'm gonna start from my chin, my forehead, and I'm gonna leave my under eye last because I like to give the under eye product the most amount of time to dry down. I like to go over it with my brush and then make sure it's properly blended out with my beauty sponge. For under my eye, I'm just gonna um, tap it really trying to merge the two concealers together i'm not going to touch the white concealer until the brown concealers are at least mostly blended out i don't want to go into the white and then go back to the brown and then like lighten the brown concealer i don't want that so i'm making sure the brown concealer is blended out first now i'm going into the brown i mean into the light concealer i'm just going to keep it right there under my eye as you can see the light concealer didn't really lighten everything up too much if anything, I probably made it a bit darker with the other concealer still on the brush. Now it's mostly done, I'm going to use the sponge to um, fade out the edges here to blur it out more. You see that? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I am going to add more of the light concealer to the inner corners of my under eye because it's not as bright as I want it to be. I'm sorry, I need to see the flash in my face. I forgot, I have a specific brush for this. Yeah, I completely forgot. How can I forget? I've been raving about the brush. How can I forget? We're using this Real Techniques Brightening Concealer Brush. Just keep this area bright. 
I love this brush so much. You'll see why. I'm keeping it in this area. I don't want my whole face to be bright. I'm just patting, I'm not swiping this time because this concealer is more likely to leave streaks. So I'm just patting, lightly patting and keeping it in that one area. It's not gonna go past my eye. I'm making sure it's staying right here. I know it looks like one big patch, but come on, you know I'm gonna blend it out. My makeup never looks crazy, please. Just trust me. I'm just making sure the area itself is blended out. I might bring it down my nose just to look normal. Why did I say might? I'm going to bring it down my nose to look normal. Time for the beauty blender. I'm using the bottom of it to really blur the light concealer to the brown concealer. You don't see it. You don't see it getting darker. It just fades out. Here you can see the line. That's where the light concealer stops. The beauty blender just on that line directly yeah yeah I'm um, now I'm gonna use a tip to properly blend the center yeah <laughs> I love that where where are my under eyes they've disappeared that's what I like to see oh that is so good oh my god just get a tiny bit of the light concealer to go down my eyes nope to go down my nose oh my gosh i'm going to use a tiny brush give it a little bit more definition using this tiny little brush little detail brush i'm gonna go down the center of my nose not all the way maybe like halfway and then drag it the other halfway i'm trying to like steady my hand i need a small floppy brush this will do I'm just gonna drag it down a bit just making sure it's blended out now it's time to contour i only contour with one thing my favorite thing to contour with is the fenty beauty match stick in the shade ebony i wish i got caviar because i like the dark moody type of look it gives i might buy caviar later on i'm not sure i like the elf halo glow contour it's in deep rich i'm going to use the fenty beauty for this area and i don't like using too much so two dots that is more than enough and then i'm going to use elf halo glow on my forehead the elf halo glow it blends out so well and i don't like too much contour product on my forehead Mm -hmm. just under my jawline I'm using it to like blend out my double chin that's apparently coming through I'm going to blend out my cheekbones first and then I'm going to do my forehead and my jawline I like to go in circles to connect the two dots and I go in upwards motion the sponge again to blend out the line between my contour and my highlight just blend that out i don't know why people hate sponges i really don't understand it it blends out my makeup the best i don't understand when people say oh i hate sponges um okay <laughs> i'm going to use my bronzing powder brush for my elf contour because it's like fluffy and because the elf is such a light product you don't need to put too much force onto it creamy products you need to use more dense brushes or like light liquid ones it makes sense to use more fluffy brushes i think it blends out better with fluffier brushes using the same brush for under my jawline just trying to make this whole section look like one big shadow to give the illusion that i have a sharp jawline now it's time to like set all of the products that i just applied so my highlighter and my bronze what my highlighter and my contour so before i set my highlight i'm going to blend out my eye crease because if you look there are streaks of concealer on my eyelid and you don't want to set that oh that will be there forever right before you set this area you need to make sure everything is blended out again i'm going to use the sponge to blend out my eyelids then set it and then i'm going to blend out the other eyelid then set that I'm gonna make it a bit lighter because I am going to do eyeshadow. I'm just putting my Too Faced concealer on first. I'm going to dip my Amazon powder puff in the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in the shade Blondie and I'm gonna gently tap it and then I'm gonna do the under eye straight after. I'm just gonna do 
the inwards first. I think I need a brighter setting powder. Yeah, I think I want banana bread now. Banana bread is like one shade lighter than blondie because this is not doing what I need it to do. I didn't contour my nose because I've decided I'm not contouring my nose anymore. I'm just going to bronze it because the outcome is so much better. My nose looks so much better when I only bronze it because contouring doesn't always go how I want it to go yeah so no more contouring 2024 <laughs> just making sure that's really in my skin like really melted in the concealer the Huda Beauty same powder but in the shade cinnamon bun to set my chin and forehead and like my top lip area switch the sponge to the other side and i'm going to tap that in and flatten out the application on the sponge i think i'm going to go around my face around my mouth it does crease a bit and then i'm going to go on my forehead i'm going to go on the edges of the bright setting powder and use this really fluffy brush to just blend out everything i'm gonna leave like the under eye powder put i'm gonna leave that just to really marinate oh my gosh i forgot to do liquid blush that's crazy i'm going to mix the morphe bronzer in the shade what going to mix that with the Juvia's Place bronzer in dark deep and I'm going to use the bottom bronzer I'm mixing them two together give a really dark moody type of look I'm going to use my Morphe R14 brush for my bronzer it's the same brush I use to blend out my forehead contours start really soft because I know that these are really pigmented oh that is so dark yeah that is all i need i'm looking in the monitor to see how it comes out on the camera using a small fluffy brush and i'm going to use the lighter bronzer for my nose because i hate i hate a harsh nose contour or bronze i'm trying to blend the nose contour into my eye crease just so it looks like it belongs there i'm going to use the powder puff to neaten up the nose bronzer with a bit more powder but instead of tapping i'm going to swipe it down Now that I've bronzed, I'm going to clean up the area under my cheekbones just to de define it a bit. What I've done on my nose, I'm going to do that for my cheekbones as well. I'm going to clean up this area a bit. I'm not going to clean up the whole bottom half of my face. I'm going to do halfway so to where my cheekbone actually ends. Some people will actually bring it all the way to the mouth. That's crazy. That's actually madness. It really brings out and defines my cheekbone. For blush, instead of pink, I'm gonna use this orange blusher. I couldn't wait to use it for the autumn winter type of look. I think the orange and the brown will look so perfect together. I'm gonna use my Morphe R46 brush for the blush. Really dive into it and always tap the excess off. I'm going to focus on the top half of my cheeks. Love that. I love that. Oh my gosh, the orange just melting into the brown. I love that so much. Just bring it up here a bit just to give a bit more colour. I'm not adding more product onto the brush. Just for the faded type of look. Yeah, okay, now that I've done my blush, I think I want to put more blush on. I can't lie, I want to put more blush on. I'm putting more of the orange on because I love how pretty that looks. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use this really soft and big brush to just blend out the powder. Squeeze it for my nose powder. Oh, I love this. Bro, oh my gosh, nothing makes me happier than makeup. I, I just can't with it. Look how that blended out and it brightened up the area as well. Oh my gosh. I 
I absolutely love this. Now it's time for my eyes. Guys, oh my goodness. Today, let me tell you, you see God here? Yeah? He's the most amazing thing. Today, I received a PR package with every type of makeup, like all the makeup that I needed or like my, my next two, three pieces of content. I've been planning to do this autumn winter video for like maybe a week. How can I get in my PR package? Autumn winter brown palette from Beauty Bay. Look at all of the brown. Look at that. Obviously, I was gonna use my favorite palette from Morphe, the Jaclyn Hill palette that I've been using for years and years and years. But this palette, there's no way I'm not using this palette right now what how can i receive this makeup the day of me planning to do this content how is he good yeah amazing he's so funny i can't even if you think you're funny god is funnier let me tell you that for free now i'm going to do my eyes so i'm gonna just zoom in now we're all up close and personal <laughs> i really want to sort out my eyebrows because why why are you being weird to me why are you being weird to me so my eyelids are set so i can go in with my transition color first i'm going to use a big fluffy brush for my transition color that's going to be an eyeshadow shade maybe like one or two shades darker than you but a bit warm as well yeah just for my transition color i'm going to use this shade which is called mocha as you can see i've hit pan anytime you use any type of powder you dip into it and tap off the excess because you don't want flakes all over your face you don't want that at all fill in this area that's where you put your transition color you don't just swipe you tap it on first you pack on the product and then you just start blending it out if you just start blending it out you won't see the pigment as much so you have to make sure you pack it on first pack it on and you blend it out after to so make it fade out on my eyeshadow i'm just gonna keep going darker you can use the same brush if you want because i'm extra i like to use different brushes it gives different finishes and i like to control my eyeshadow a bit more so now i'm gonna go for a deeper shade I'm going to use a smaller brush. I'm going to use Chip in Jaclyn Hill. Keep that on the outside of my eyelid. So I'm not going to go all the way in. I'm going to go halfway my eyelid. So I'm going to put that here. Put that halfway in my eyelid. Oh, oh I should have stretched my eyebrow. And then start blending it out. And I'll flick it out to give that wing effect. I am going to do liquid um eyeliner after but i like the smokiness behind the liquid liner i'm going to use a fluffy clean brush just to blend that out more no product i've decided to give it a upwards flick right behind my eyeliner i'm gonna cover my lid with yeah with a really light brown I'm going to use the Beauty Bay in this shade and I'm just going to clean up everything here. I'm going to use this Jumbo Hair Shop Brown Pencil for my waterline. For my eyeliner, I'm going to use NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm going to do my normal cat eye. And I'm going to do the little flick in the uh, middle, like in the inner corners of my eye. I need to sort out the lashes I'm going to wear. Me and lashes go together real bad. The lashes have glue on them. I'm going to curl my lashes and then put on mascara. I'm putting on the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. Okay, I'm going to set my face. I need a bigger makeup case. If you see my makeup case. I'm just brightening the inner corner one more time. This is why I say I need a lighter setting powder because this is not doing it for me. I'm giving wolf. I'm giving feline right now. I'm really giving feline. Let me blend that out a little bit. It's a little bit harsh. First, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless 
setting powder and then I'm going to use the one size until dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray the Charlotte Tilbury first now the one size time for the lashes now which one looks better the big fluffy one or the short fluffy one yeah that's more me i really want to be a big lash babe but i have never been her i have never i don't know her i don't know her just did my beauty spots here here and here in here. This one is made up. I'm going to use the Jumbo Hair Shop Eyeliner for my lip liner. And I like to set that with the Maybelline Powder Foundation. I like to set it so it doesn't blend into my lip gloss. Now I'm going to cover the lip liner with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Lava Cake. I'm going to put on the Fenty Beauty lip gloss in hot chocolate heat. I love this. Oh, yeah. I could, oh, I could really leave it like this. But I won't. But I really could because it looks phenomenal. But I won't. I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Sugar High for the center. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is so pretty. Let me finish off like my hair and then I'll be back. I've curled my hair. I think it really brings my look together. I look like a brownie. Like I feel like a brownie right now. So I've curled my hair. I feel like I feel like a chocolate brownie right now. The only thing is, I wish I had my black French tip on. That would really bring the look together, like my black French tip. I'll leave a picture here of like what my black French tips look like. I'm going to finish off the look with a perfume. And I'm going to put on the Zara Golden Decade Perfume. This perfume, it smells amazing. Let me just. Oh, mm. I am officially done with my makeup look. The hair, the makeup, the perfume. I'm feeling amazing right now. That is it for the makeup look. Thank you so much if you've stayed to the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed the makeup look. I really enjoyed creating this look. I've been wanting to do it for like a week or two. I even ordered the headband to just bring everything together so much brown and chocolate everywhere and if you have not already please subscribe to the channel i really want to grow we're going to get at least let's say 40 to 50 thousand god willing amen my socials are here if you're not doing anything else make sure you check out this video here i put this here just for you i promise thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Mwah. no bars Peace, period.